Um, I'd just like to spend a little bit of time talking to you about uh, Turan Babakan's uh, updated finite element pile calculation program which works in Excel and uh, once again it's another masterwork from Turan. Uh, I know nothing about piles. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. I really have anything to do with them. But this problem so well laid out, I think I'm beginning to understand exactly how they work and uh, it's really interesting to see how uh, Turan has put this calculation together. Uh, he has uh, his usual <coughs> approach <coughs> of using a uh, a hyperlink navigation system so we can step through the count. So we'll start at the beginning of the calculation. Uh, we have a, a pile, which is I think a concrete uh, and steel pile of a given diameter, and there's little notes here to help us along the way, of a certain length. Uh, and then we have some uh, values here for the uh, concrete properties, and we have some values down here for the steel properties too. Uh, and it looks as though this thing's going to be driven into the ground and uh, it sticks out above this lower level and holds back a load of earth here and then continues into the ground. And the calculation itself um, uses uh, the uh, a stiffness method to work out what kind of support is going on here and what kind of loads and moments that um, are, you, are you going to generate within the pile. That's what it seems to be to me, and this is from a guy who knows nothing about uh, civil engineering. So uh, the next thing to do is to define some loads, and uh, it looks like we can put some loads on the kind of uh, uh, the soil that we're holding back, and there's obviously some hydrostatic pressure type load there, uh, and also a kind of static load as well, acting pushing the thing over there, so that giving moments, uh, horizontal shears and vertical loads onto the lower part of the pile. Uh, and the next seems to be some kind of definition of uh, the uh, soil uh, and the soil spring constants. Um, I'm not, I, I don't pretend to understand all the details, but what I do marvel at all the time is just how uh, easy it is to see my way through this problem and given a bit more time I think I could probably work the whole thing out. Uh, looks like we've got some results here uh, uh, moment shear and soil pressures uh, and we've also got some deflections so this presumably is a deflection of the pile and this point here is probably uh, where it's uh, starting to hold back the the earth I should imagine. Uh, there's calculations here on the Pile lateral capacity. Suppose that's the uh, its ability to re to resist uh, horizontal loads there, uh, and then there's an axial capacity here as well uh, to make sure that we can resist the vertical loads that are imposed on the pile. Uh, and down here, finally, there's just some design checks uh, that are performed, and it looks like this particular file is getting a lot of OK. So uh, it looks like uh, this design has been successful. In the background, you can see that uh, there's some very complex finite element method calculations going on here. I can recognize a big stiffness matrix here, which is being inverted by uh, Excel. And I think it's worth pointing out as well that uh, this is version 1.4 of this calculation. And some of the discussions that have been generated on the Excel Calcs site have noticed that uh, Excel 2003 can't cope with inverting the size of matrices uh, that Excel 2010 can uh, cope with. So uh, we've all the all these comments have been fed back, and the reason we've got to version 1.4 is because Turan has very diligently collated all these comments and and addressed each one and improved his calculation. And uh, this is this is the fourth version. I dare say there'll be more in the future, but they just get better and better and better. And I have to say, I'm extremely indebted to Turan uh, and his support for the site. And uh, if I'm ever in Turkey, I think I owe him a good number of beers. OK, if you're listening, Turan, thank you very much. Bye bye.